Well, uh, Microsoft it basically just goes to get the Zen, yeah, it right? took a bunch of different versions. But Microsoft at this point is kind of like, eh, they pr- it's probably going to be very difficult to do on the Xbox One, or maybe it's not going to be. Who knows? Obviously, the I don't know, either way, I prefer oh. playing on the PC. Yeah, of course. I mean, anyway, uh, I quit Modern Warfare 2 after they fixed that uh, care package knife bug because that was the funniest thing. <laughs> what was that? Fix roof party. No, what you did was uh, you got care packed and you ran around with that and made you run two times as fast. Yeah, the care package <laughs> made you run really, really so fast. So what you did you is just uh, thing. run around with a care package knifing people. War yeah, speed. marathon, <laughs> command, commando, marathon, lightweight, care package grenade. Just knife the shit out of everybody. You yes. literally warp around the map. You were breaking the code. You were moving so fast. I got so That's many amazing. people bitching about me in chat. It was hilarious. They didn't fix the they didn't fix the stupidest thing, which was uh care with the roof party on high rise. And then uh, there was that one javelin glitch. I forget how that was you though. Oh, it was like throw a grenade, try to shoot the javelin, try to throw the grenade again to cancel the javelin thing. And as long as you were holding down the grenade button, you could run around normally, but the second you let go of it, the javelin would go off at your current location, and it would also happen oh, when, yeah. when you died. <laughs> so you were basically just a giant suicide bomber, so you would just run around screaming, <laughs> Oh, I wanted to be able to fix that specifically to do that. Remember they threatened to ban people on Xbox Live for doing that? I think they did ban people doing it after a certain point. That's that's the so that's hilarious. It was quite disruptive to the game. I don't give a fuck about that. If you were one of those serious business esports guys, holy fuck, you got angry. Yep. They didn't fix all the other retarded shit like the UMP being unbalanced as fuck and the ACRs having all the, all the little weird agaries of the guns, like the P90 giving you. 1.5 times speed duration of the random shit. I think towards the end, Infinity War was just throwing shit in like that just to be like, it's not checking this anymore. Well, I, I think Modern Warfare 2 was basically all that. Like, if you read about the history of Infinity War, then, like, they didn't really want to make that game. No, they didn't want to. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff they didn't want to make. That makes, I'm really interested to see how Titanfall turns out. I've seen footage of it. It looks super, super cool. The real question is, is it coming out on PC in any kind of form that's good? Ah, oh, fucking Gray Fox! Fucking coward! <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm right. super, I'm super excited about Destiny, but I know it's not coming out on PC this iteration, and it's really sad. Right, objective has been Get back up here and die right now, mister! Come back, come on. Hi, Warcack. What the fuck was that? I was leaning out of shit. I like shit. how you had one health, Warcack. Man, I forgot I could just throw med packs ahead of me. Kinda of stan. No, no, I mean, uh, I switched my mid pack up for defense. Oh. This counts as kill is actually add a kill tier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Should. Okay, how long do you have to charge the paddles before they work? Three seconds, I think. <sighs> Okay. They so they do not hit anywhere. They very very much in the center of your screen do. It no kind of this app because they, they kind of seem worthless compared to what they used to be. I think it's just because they're really really hard. Well, that and they don't want to spend experience. Oh. Yeah, revive Chain, no more revive chaining, definitely. Oh, that's right. Man, look at that. Look at that beautiful global lighting. Ha ha ha. Man, the, the lighting is, is nice. Yeah, the lighting's okay, but they had to turn all the light systems to static and nothing's dynamic. Oh, okay. Wait, what? 
Oh no, just the lighting engine they use for Frostbite is the same lighting engine that uh, they use for the hero. For what? So, I did... A bad game? Yeah, it's, it's a pretty bad game. Wait, what game? It's got some good parts in it, but... Wait, what, what game are you talking about? The Bureau X Comedy Classified. Wait, it's not terrible. I thought that was hmm? three. It is, but we use the same engine and lighten that they use for Frostbite. Oh. Did you work on the Bureau UE3? I did, for three years. Do you know wow. Fred Zelaney? Fred Zelaney, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, pretty well. He's a cool guy. He's a very cool dude. Oh he did good work. He did good work on the Bureau. The, um, we went through about four different, four narrative teams of fractions thereof. Hey, Defat. Hey. Oh, time's up. Also notice you can't shoot while jumping. Oh, that's good. Wait, is that good? No, that's not good. Uh, yeah, you're right, you can't. That's not good. That's not realistic either. To be fair, you don't jump around like a rabbit, realistically. Uh, excuse me, sir. I have to know Australians who bounce like kangaroos on a regular basis. I got shot with a, by a guy who was a corpse with an AR sticking out of his torso. That's what did I think? All those BF3 you. bugs are still here. Yeah, I just had a guy empty a clip into me when that uh, barrier was down. Pretty MTM sure magazine. he's bombing. Yeah, I'm on temporary loan back to Cameron right now. I'm actually attached to that uh, new studio that uh, Rod Ferguson just started. How's the Rod's doing? They're trying huh? not to make a bad game again. Well, Ferguson, yeah. I mean, look what he ships. He ship gears, Bioshock he seems like Infinite. a pretty cool dude. No. <laughs> Hella nice. <laughs> yeah, by shocking that he would probably put that on his list of mistakes. Well, wasn't he hired to just make sure it actually ships? He was you? hired to kick it. He was hired to kick it out the fucking door and desperately needed his help when he was hired for it. Yeah. Gotcha. So it's. Well, I mean, they it's on his for resume. It's the funny thing is, look at, yeah, you look at Bioshock Infinite. They actually just took the bureau's engine about a year and a half ago, put beast lighting into it, and uh, yeah, ended up with that game. They didn't even change the file names of the config files. If you look through the ones in the version of the shipped version of the Steam game, you can see all these references to XCOM and stuff. <laughs> wow. Oh, damn it, I, I only hit the when share I battle report button. That's what we need. We need an XCOM Bioshock crossover. No, we don't. Legal would... Dude, 2K Legal would have kittens. They own both, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, but 2K Legal was... Dude, we, we wanted to have little Easter eggs with Big Daddy plushies in the bureau, and Legal just about shit themselves over it. They were freaking the fuck out. Over what? What I mean is, like, those little sorts big of things... Little Big Daddy, like, plushies of Big Daddies in the bureau, like, in kids' bedrooms and shit, and Legal was uh. pissing themselves over it. I had to spend, like, four hours going through every single level, searching for the asset and making sure it wasn't in any level. Couldn't you Why just the fuck it yeah. from the chain? Uh, they, no, that was right? Wait, wait, you said legal. Why are lawyers being narrative? Because they, contamination is what yeah. they call it. Because they don't well, want the people who make Bioshock suing them? Isn't no, they just don't want to pay more people than they, they want They don't want, to they don't want dumb puppies to be confused about whether Bioshock and XCOM are the same thing or oh, not. Oh, please. 